If you're more of a land lover than a fisherman, then there are alternatives in the park. We have about 18 miles of mountain bike trails, which is a big draw for the state park. And the only times you can't get on the trail is when, it, when we've had rain. Mountain bikers come out in full force to hit the Dorba Trail. Dorba, Dallas Off-Road Biking Association. Basically, Dorba is around to uh, maintain these trails. Almost 1,200 acres of mountain biking landscape brings out bikers looking for adventure. Thanks to the topography generated by the Mountain Creek Escarpment, the most prominent landform in Dallas County, the trails offer elevation changes that are unique in the North Texas area. Cedar Hill probably has, in the Dorba trail system, probably the most hill climbing you'll do, elevation changes as we call it. Downhills and the berm turns, you just pick up so much speed, that speed is nice. I enjoy the hills, but it, it's just like paying for an e-ticket. Um, we climb the hills and then the e-tickets on the way down. The hilly terrain can be quite a challenge for some riders, but the real challenge lies in keeping the trails maintained. That's probably the hardest part. If these trails weren't maintained, the park wouldn't have, the, that parking lot wouldn't be full. Because uh, without these guys here, or, you know, the volunteers of Dorba, you wouldn't have no trail, none. You'd have hiking trails, you'd have horse trails. But even the, even the hikers and the runners enjoy these trails right here. So. The rocks in the park are part of what's known as the Eagle Ford Shale Formation. It's a soft, relatively friable rock made of silt and clay sediments, which are easily erodible. In a relatively wet area like North Texas, this can present a problem while maintaining a trail. The hardest part, especially here in Cedar Hill, is erosion water. But what happens is then all the water from the top of the hill runs straight down on the trail and it takes along all the dirt and then you get these big grooves as you can probably see. Uh, best way to go up and down a hill is what we call switchbacks. You know, constantly turning, let water get off the trail. And that's probably the hardest thing, right, especially here since we've had 10 years of erosion, you can hardly fix it. What we do now is we do what we call reroutes. While Dorva works to prevent erosion on the soft Eagle Ford Shale inside the park, outside the park a harder rock known as the Austin Chalk is much more resistant to erosion. The resistance of the Austin Chalk to erosion when compared to the soft underlying Eagle Ford Shale formation gives the hill its characteristic shape and relief. The relief is so great that the area is home to Broadcast Hill, where many of the area radio and television broadcasts are transmitted. While the distinction between the two rock types might not be apparent inside the park, outcrops in the West Dallas area showcase the two formations more clearly. Here at this outcrop on Keast Boulevard in West Dallas, you can actually see the contact between the hard Austin chalk beds and the softer Eagle Ford shale underneath. Without even knowing it, many mountain bikers have been taking advantage of a North Texas geologic phenomena by using rocks in order to roll.